If you're using low cash for your local channels, don't you think it'd be a whole lot better if you could DVR your favorite shows? Well, in this video, we show you how you could do just that. Hey, this is Ray with the Cord Cutters Community, where we are all about helping you cut the cord on cable and satellite TV and still be able to stream your favorite programming. We're here to help with advice, reviews, easy to understand and follow how to's and app overviews like this one right here. Today, we show you how to DVR your lowcasts with the Streamium app. All right, so here we are on the Streamium website, and it is a free app, but to do the recording that we want to do with Lowcast, to do the recording that we want to do with Vidgo, etc., we need the premium version, okay? So you can get Streamium here, but let's just find out a little bit more about it. What is Streamium? So here we are checking out what is Streamium. Well, it's a way for you to uh, kind of combine some of your services all in the cloud. And you can also do the DVR service, which this video is about, all on the cloud. There's no need for a hard drive hooked up to your um, device, okay? So this is gonna be done on the cloud. Get the app there. Want to record any streaming TV channel anywhere on the device? Well, we'll check that out in a little bit. I don't know about any channel, but it will work with Lowcast. The DVR plan starting at just $5 a month. That gets you 25 hours of cloud DVR storage. That's not very many hours, but uh, for what we're going to do here, it's going to be fine. I'm going to show you how to use this service. And of course, if you're on top of it, if you're on top of watching your stuff, and then deleting 25 hours could very well work for you. And it's available there on your Amazon App Store, Google Play, Roku. There's an extra step for Roku. If you stick around at the end of the video, we're gonna show you exactly what you have to do, the extra step to get it working on your Roku. Now, of course, as I mentioned, it is a free app, but if you wanna use a DVR, $5 a month, starting at $5 a month for 25 hours, and then you can pay more and get more hours. And you can save some money by paying for a year, okay? And there's some testimonials. And there you go. That is Streamium on the website where you need to sign up. And uh, now let's get it on our device. All right, here we are on our Fire TV device and we're gonna show you how you can get the Streamium app on there. So we're gonna go to the search course. This is super easy. All we have to do is type in Streamium and it's spelled with no A, just a S T R E M I U M. is and then we're gonna click on it and now we're gonna click get free to download so let's go ahead and do that and while that's downloading I'd like to ask you to please give us a like subscribe share this with a friend and of course Click that notification bell so you get notifications every time we upload a new cord cutting video. We're here to help you cut the high cost of cable and satellite TV and save some money. Get rid of those contracts. Contracts are the worst. And every time you click like, a puppy smiles. So please do that for me, all right? <laughs> all right, now we're gonna go ahead and click open and launch this sucker. So now I've got to go to a website and link this device with my account. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and we'll be right back. And here are my Lowcast channels. Very, very cool. And not only does it have the low-cast channels, it also has the Pluto channels in there.
And I believe Streamium added some of their own channels in there too. So for $5 a month, not a bad deal to get 25 hours of uh, DVR recording. You add that with the 550 that Locast charges you for 1050. You have local channels and you have your DVR. If you happen to live in one of the areas that Locast services, and there's ways around it if you're not, you can use a VPN or something. And by the way, I do have a video on Locast and uh, it also shows you how to use a VPN there. And I'll be sure to put a link below for that, okay? And if we go over here and click on the DVR, and then that'll show us stuff that we have recorded. Uh, let's go ahead and click on one of these and play it back. Of course, I'm not gonna let it play very long because I don't want a copyright strike, but there you go. And you can fast forward, you know, rewind, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And then you can delete it, and that'll free up more time for you for your DVR. So that's Streamium on your Amazon Fire TV device. Now I mentioned to you that we're going to do it on the Roku, so let's go ahead and show you how to get that right now. And real quick, before we get into the Roku, I want to go back to the website and show you which services are compatible with the Streamium app. Of course, Locast, which I'm going to demonstrate here. Also, Philo, we have Spectrum, CBS All Access, Friendly, Sling TV, and Vidgo. Those are the services that you can use with Streamium. So if you have any of those services, you might want to check this out. All right, let's go to the Roku. All right, here we are on our Roku. And I'm gonna show you here that if you go to just a regular search and type in Streamium, nothing happens, it doesn't find it, but it is available. But it is, it's, it's not an officially supported app yet. Or not an officially supported channel. So how do we get it? Well, we're going to go to our Roku account on our computer. All right, so here we are on the website. I am logged into my Roku account. And there is a special link that you have to go to to add the channel. And I'll include the link below in the description. And as you see here, I can add the channel Streamium. I just got to click I'm not a robot. Then I'm going to click add channel. And it gives you a real quick warning saying it's a non-certified channel, but you really don't need to worry about this. As I showed you earlier, it was on the TV stream 4K and also on our Amazon Fire Stick. So just go ahead and click OK. Yes, add channel. And the channel has been added. And now let's go back to our Roku. All right, here we are back in our Roku on a home screen. We just added Streamium on our website there on our account on the website. And if we go down to the bottom, there is Streamium. And now it's going to want you to go to your Streamium website and link the account. And I'm going to go ahead and do that right now. Okay, so we entered the code on our Roku website. We linked the device, and here we are back on our Roku. And now Streamium is up and working. So if we go over here to the left, we can see our DVR here. And there are the shows that I set to record earlier. And we can go to our guide. And there are our low cast channels.
and then also our Pluto channels. And Streamium also seems to add their very own channels, I believe around 50 or so. So not a bad deal. If you want to add DVR to your low cast, an extra $5 a month for 25 hours of recording, which is pretty good as long as you're on top of it and you delete your old recordings, that should be fine. And you get uh, all your channels here in one guide, which is phenomenal. So there you go. That is a DVR for your roadcast channels with Streamium Live TV and DVR. Once again, this is Ray with the Cord Cutters community. If you found some value from this video, please give me a like, subscribe, share this with a friend, and click that notification bell so you get notifications every time we upload a new video, okay? If you do all that, your life will get much, much better, I promise, okay? Till next time, we'll talk to you again real soon. Take care.